The Mini Cooper S Roadster is the newest addition to the Mini family. Yes. Look again. It's new. It's not the Mini Cooper convertible. No. This one is different. For one, it only has two seats. Which is a first for the Mini Open Top Breed. Secondly, U2026. Well, that's actually about it. U2026 The shoulder wrenching S Roadster packs a 1. 6 liter turbocharged inline 4 cylinder U2026 the most powerful in its engine size. The Roadster is based upon the Mini Cooper Coupe. You know, the Chop Top Mini. Yes, that one. This is essentially the drop top version of that visual oddity. Although Mini hasn't really built a U20180 new car since its inception in 2002, it now has six models. There is an all new Mini Cooper coming in 2014, but for the purposes of this review, we'll ignore that. Mini's base design, despite its best intentions, is old. It's old and it's not quite as good as it was 11 years ago. When Mini first hit the scene, it was, not surprisingly, fresh. It was quaint, jaunty, sporty and popular. The money man at BMW, the company that owns Mini, allowed supply and demand to get to their heads. Though, they pulled nice things out of the Mini in order to make more money. This stripping off of bits made the Mini feel cheaper as the years went on. In spite of this, Mini sold more than double the number of cars in 2012 as it did a decade before. So, clearly, the money grubbers can claim victory. This brings us back around the Mini Cooper S Roadster, which runs around $32. Oh 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 with some of the good bits added back in. Including a top-notch stereo and now, a navigation system. Aside from those niceties. You don't get much in the way of creature comforts. The